Hi Leo, welcome back to Omkara Tarot and to another Love Bite. Leo, these are general collective readings, will not resonate with all of you out there. Please take what works for you, leave the rest. So let's begin, let's see what message wants to show through for you. My angel spirit guides, please bless this reading for my Leo gang and send them the messages they need to hear the most about their love life. Thank you. All right, Leo, let's start your reading. Welcome back, all my subscribers. Thank you, thank you for being here. And uh, Leo, if you're new here, we welcome you as well. Do join us, subscribe to the channel, become part of us. We welcome you in. Oh, okay. Mm -hmm. Leo, Wheel of Fortune, upright, bottom of my deck. Somebody does want things to start flowing in the right direction once again. Hoping for some good luck because right now one person is feeling very, very depressed and sad. Lonely, rejected, dejected because maybe of some stagnancy which has happened in your connection. Maybe they feel they made some unwise and foolish decisions here which they want to get out of. But things are still in troubled waters it seems and uh, whoever this person is doesn't have the courage to come forward and offer that commitment now. Feeling very ungrounded and very stressed. So let's see what this is all about. I'm going to start with some dialogue message cards for you Leo. Let's see if you guys could say something to each other what that would be and then we'll clarify these cards. Leo and that person spirit. If they could say something to each other now, what would that be? Leo and that person. Leo and that person spirit. If they could say something to each other now. Thank you. And we'll take a few from here as well, Leo. And if any of you are looking for a personal reading, Leo, my email is in the description box below. You can reach me there. Leo and that person. Thank you. You and a couple more from here and we're good to go thank you first card I have here Leo for you says you talk with me about our future and building our life together however your intentions don't align with your actions I feel like I, I can't trust you to rebuild a solid foundation integrity and consistency are essential for me to feel safe in this connection maybe that that's that's what happened here i write you messages and delete them because i just don't know what to say i'm so sorry because i know that my silence is hurting you i'm healing and trying to find my strength trying to find my strength to be honest with you about how i truly feel Aren't you tired of overthinking and being so hard on yourself? You can deliver yourself out of your pain, fear and frustration and then you'll see what I've seen in you all along. The love I have for you is a deep reflection of the love I have for myself. I found all the fragmented, broken pieces of myself when I met you. You mirrored my wounds. And so that I can look deep within of myself and heal from within. This connection can feel out of balance when I try and reassure or overgive to you. I realize that I have to give to myself and then that you will master self-love. I crave your sexual healing. I fantasize about pleasing you every day. I'm on fire waiting for you. You changed. You were keeping secrets from me. One minute we were talking and like best friends. And then you distanced yourself from me. Every time it happened again, we grew further and further apart. I miss the old us. I would wait for eternity to be with you. I'll never let you go. You are my one true love. I've been waiting a lifetime for you. I really need your warmth and affection.
I have an addiction. I'm afraid of losing you. So Leo, these are some of your messages. Let's see what's going on here. Let's start with an angel blessing card. Let's see what my angels have for you as a blessing, guidance, advice, or a message for my Leo. And the card I have here for you is generosity. It's time to be a little more compassionate, Leo. Not just to others, but also to yourself. Don't be so hard on yourself by overthinking. That's what the card said as well. So the first person I think you have to be kind and generous and compassionate towards, Leo, is yourself. Forgive yourself. And yes, then you can give to others as well. So four of cups in reverse and the page of pentacles in reverse, spirit. Who's going through this? Why? Four of Cups is clarified by the Four of Cups in reverse. This is the amount of uh, sadness and loneliness and rejection, dejection that a person is going through because of an ending that's happened. They don't want something to end. They don't want something to end. And uh, instead of coming forward and giving of themselves, I think this person has quietly been just watching from the sidelines, maybe watching the other person's social media or finding out from friends, family about the person, feeling that, you know, I've, I've already been rejected. Not that they want to, they don't want to end this chapter with them, but uh, they are kind of healing from some kind of heartbreak. Could be some past heartbreak maybe, I don't know. Or maybe they don't want to come forward and say something in case they get their heart broken. They don't want to take that chance. Yes, they are not coming forward, messaging or saying anything because they fear. What if, you know, my person is with somebody else already? What if I've lost them? What if they break my heart now? Uh, so is it better I just keep quiet and say nothing? Uh, yes, yeah, somebody was maybe in their little selfish, self-centered energy maybe in the past. But... Uh, Right now, they are unable to take action. They are unable to take action and actually show their person what they really want to say or, you know, because they're scared. This person is very scared and uh, not feeling happy about it at all that they're not in a position to go and take action. So, hermit in reverse spirit. They feel they made a very unwise and foolish mistake. Maybe they were very guarded, maybe very cold and very head over heart decisions were being made in the past and uh, they guarded their heart or themselves and never offered this brand new beginning and now they feel that was a very foolish mistake. I should have taken that risk when the time was right. I should have leapt, leapt, leapt off that cliff <laughs> that was a tongue twister yes i should have leapt off that cliff when the time was right and taken that chance on love when i found it and uh, they're feeling really bad they made a unwise decision they feel they should have uh, invested they feel what a waste of an opportunity and uh, i don't want to maybe they didn't do it because they didn't want to maybe get into a love situation they never offered a fresh brand new beginning or maybe they were not sure they would get one maybe they've already going through an ending and uh, maybe when that person asked them straight off like what are your intentions there could have been some drama here or yeah somebody was being a little emotionally closed off or emotionally manipulative and things went into a wrong direction six of swords in reverse yes either they got rejected or they broke some promises or they didn't live up to you know what they were portraying the intentions didn't match their intentions maybe there could have been conflict regarding that as well strength in reverse strength in reverse yeah somebody feels that uh, they've lost their power they've lost their control they feel the other person has already kind of freed themselves and they may not get a chance for a happily ever after with whoever's now left the scene hierophant i have a feeling this person was trying to control the situation they thought maybe this will have to lead up to a commitment and they didn't want any burdens in their life. They were trying to 
you know act smart and uh, be that you know in control of everything to say you know this is how much i'll give and then i won't be expected to offer commitment and uh, i i'm not not going to put in too much work into this connection because what if what if what if i'm asked for a commitment and maybe that this person was not ready for that they wanted to be a little foot loose and fancy free they didn't want to make a decision at that time now they regret it they feel i should have taken that opportunity when the time was right uh king of pentacles in reverse spirit yes this person is feeling very ungrounded now they feel they've lost their chance of a happily ever after they do wish now to make that choice they are yeah they understand what's happened they understand that their immature behavior could have created this you know lack of moving forward but now i think some somebody is healing somebody is wishing praying that a choice will be made maybe in the future now to get this wheel of fortune in the upright once again the second time this wheel of fortune has come for leo you or your cross watcher i don't know who this is uh eight of swords spirit what's the tension about now or well, the tension is that they've lost their chance now if they do go and offer this commitment that person's going is very upset and very angry and will not accept them back so now there's a lot of stress tension overthinking why because they feel even if i do want this now my person is upset so wheel of fortune spirit since it's come out twice can i have a clarifier for that what's this will anything change well, somebody de definitely wants to return they do have lots of sweet memories of their person they do want to return back to this place of friendship happiness joy they feel this is my soulmate but the problem here uh, leo is that uh, too much time has gone by this person yes is very upset and angry with you uh, maybe they've already kind of given up on the situation or at least that's how you feel because there is no movement coming either from their end to you or you to them and that's making you feel rather unhappy i think there's wishing and praying and hoping going on for uh, things to start moving in divine timing even though right now i don't see any communication so first start loving yourself find out why why what if you are the person who blocked it in the first place leo or maybe you're the cross watcher here find out why you were not able to be generous with yourself and accept this brand new beginning when it was presented and if there's anything to, to heal from your past i think you should go through that process before starting anything new i don't see any problem with the other person they i think were on board this was the you know a uh, beautiful soulmate connection of the six of cups best friends getting along well everything was fine but uh, now they're upset and angry and i think this person has good reason to be somebody was trying to be very controlling and not put in any investment trying to trick them into you know not giving them anything to work with so that's all i have for you leo till next time then love and light take care namaste